Right, we've got a E22 head uh, gas flow ready to put together. All the valves are ground in, uh, etc. It's all cleaned up. All the stuff's pre-lubed, ready to go in the head. I wanted to show you uh, when we use our 40 psi valve springs, um, we use the extra thicker shim on, um, I don't know if you can see that there, these are 1.9, whereas the standards are 0.8. This does give it quite an increase in uh, spring preload pressure. Um, there's a stop one in idle tool here, I'll try and get the angle, but they're just on 40 psi. You can't quite see in the video, but they are 40 psi at 83 millimeters. It's only a bit of a Heath Robbins setup. We have a proper jig for doing this normally when we're testing uh, bundles of springs. Um, so I will now install the 1.9 shim. The 1.9 shim you can get off our site. They're part number 9879. Um, right, let's wind this up to the same preload, which is 83. Oh, look, I've gone too far. It's just on 83 there. So all of a sudden... We're just up over 50, uh, we're like 53 PSI. Um, so I can't get the quite good camera angle there. And do that, take it out. So we'll pop two new shims in the head in a second. We'll put the valves in the head. Inlet first, it's all pre-lubed. Oh, God, trying to do it through the camera lens is not that easy, or the screen, should I say. There we go. That one in, then the exhaust, like so. Uh, then we'll drop our shims in. So we've got the fat ones here, or the thicker ones, should I say. It's easy to use a screwdriver, get one from here. Just line the screwdriver up over the end of the valve, drop her in, make sure she's seated. Spin the head round. Actually, it just drops in just as easy like that, but there we go. Right, so that's seated there. Both in, we've got a valve stem seals on, like so. And we're using our tool. There it is. That's a little pad that goes in the hemi. Stops the valves being pushed down. And then we can use our quick tool for fitting the valve collets in. So we'll put the spring in like so. I've already put the collets into the top cap. Push it down with my thumb, it just locates enough. And then using the special tool, see if we can do it first on. That's it. Look at that, straight in. No hassle fumbling with collets with a normal valve tool. So same again. Top cap in with the collets already. Push it down. Just release that. Get it in, just like that. So what we do, we just give them a little bit of a, on the end of the valve, just to set the collets in. Like so. Right, that's it, it's ready for the cam shaft next. Cam we've just pre-lubed already. Pop her in, like so. And then we'll put our rockers in. We've let the tappet adjusters off to start with, back and right off. So lay that in. It's easier to do it this way around. So on the rocker shafts themselves, they've got a thread in one end, an eight mil thread. So always put the thread facing outwards. So it's on this side. That's one in. Use a screwdriver just to push it home. Same with the... Uh, Exhaust, back it off, pop her in. That's not the thread side, that's the thread side. So thread side head facing out. Locates her in. So we're gonna leave the valve clearances slack, very slack. So when the head goes on, um, we're at no risk. We're gonna time it up first, but we do that is because in case you time it up wrong, and you do just turn it over, you're less likely to do any damage without the valve clearance set. There's gonna be loads of room in case there is an error. So that's it, head is now complete, ready to go on.